I own and operate the Bad Habit Professional Monster Truck Team. We travel around the country, do about 35 to 40 shows a year, um, from everything from big stadiums to small fairgrounds. I, I'm not into golfing. I'm not into you know stuff like that. I'm into stuff that you can you know you can get crazy with, and I like I like to show off. That's I got you know I'm not afraid to say it. I enjoy doing it. I broke the world record uh, for the longest distance jump in a monster truck. It was a record that stood for about 11 years. It was 202 feet, and I jumped 208 feet. You know, I definitely it's something I want to keep doing. I, I want to keep pushing the limit, and I don't think it's too far fetched to push one of these trucks 300 feet. I mean, we fly 35 feet high off the ground and then land flat on the ground with no landing ramp. So there's there's really no other vehicle in the world that can withstand that kind of type of punishment. And every weekend we constantly are driving them harder, pushing them harder, and uh, just all in the name of putting on a good show for the fans. We get anywhere between 50,000, 60,000, sometimes upwards of around 70,000 people in these stadiums that we do for Monster Jam. And people are loving it. People who don't even have an interest in motorsports like it because it's entertaining. It's exciting, it's loud, it's fast, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a good time for the whole family. We spend a lot of time out on the road. We travel upwards of around 40,000 plus miles per year. And when we're out on the road, basically the trailer becomes our shop. So sometimes you're making major repairs in the parking lot of the stadium. If you can't build your own stuff, you're probably not gonna last very long because if you gotta pay somebody else to do the amount of work that is required for these trucks, um, you'll go broke real fast. There's a couple hundred feet of tubing just in the roll cage. And there's a, there's a lot of joints and a lot of welds and uh, we, we definitely rely on Lincoln to you know, provide us with the best quality equipment we can. And uh, when it's my head in there and it's my body and my safety that's on the line, I won't trust it to anything else holding that roll cage together. We got the Power MIG uh, 255 XT and that's our shop welder and it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, we have the, uh, the Tomahawk plasma cutter we use in the shop. We cut out brackets, uh, reinforcement plates, gussets, um, all kinds of stuff we use that thing for. We just got a new 275 Precision TIG. We do a lot of our own, our own shock work and a lot of reservoirs on the shocks require a very, very small, tight TIG weld. And it's gotta be, it's gotta be water and airtight because it's oil inside the shock and it's pressurized with about 400 pounds of nitrogen. So they have to be real, they have to be perfect. We have a Ranger 250 out in the trailer that we use out on the road. Um, that powers our lights in our trailer, it powers our battery chargers and we definitely use the heck out of the welder too. And you could probably weld a bridge back together with that thing, it's so strong. You know, it burns right through paint and grease when you're in a hurry, you know, you don't have time to properly prep the surface and you need to get something together real fast in between rounds. For Detroit Monster Jam, it was the first show of the year, brand new body on the truck, nice and shiny. And uh, we get out there and probably halfway through my freestyle run, I hit one of the big jumps on the track and it just sent me sky high. Some of the pictures looks like I'm as high as the upper deck of the stadium. And I come down on the back wheels and it took a crazy bounce and barrel roll, ripped the body off, broke, broke part of the roll cage. And uh, it was a pretty wild crash. It got a lot of people talking, but you know what? That's what people come to see. Uh, you know, they don't mind if you crash. You know, they, they definitely like it. It's exciting. As long as you get out of the truck and you're safe, people are happy. You know, we flip it back over, we shovel it back in a trailer, use our welders, Lincoln welders, and put it back together for the next weekend and go out and do it all over again for the fans.